When you're talking about the battery in your bike, there's more to think about um, than just the voltage. You can see I've got a battery under here. It's a pretty old battery, um, but it does have enough power to light up, you know, the lights and everything. I can lighten up the headlight here. So it does have some power to it. And we can try and start the bike up. And so we've got enough power to turn over the uh, um, to turn over the starter motor, but I'm suspecting that this battery still might be bad, and uh, that's because I'm getting some backfiring out of the out of the exhaust, and obviously the bike's just not starting, even though the starter motor has power to turn over. So now I'm going to check the uh, the voltage on the bike. All right. So you can see here, this battery's got plenty of power. It's got, you know, above 13 volts, but look at that thing sink. See it? It's just draining out real slowly. When a battery does this, in uh, my experience, even if you charge it up, you can charge it up for days and days and get it as high as it can get, but if it's a battery that will naturally sink down like this, sink down real slowly, then it's just not gonna have the amperage required to make those tens of thousands of volts that we need to uh, arc the spark plugs and uh, get a good spark. So even though everything else on the bike will work, we're not going to get a good spark and that's pretty damn important. Alright, so now I've got a brand new battery in here and we'll test it. And you all can see it's almost exactly where the other one is, but it's staying firm at 13.05 volts. And uh, that tells me that this battery does not have a burnt out cell or whatever like that other one had. It's a good battery. So, results. Let's see if it starts. Neutral. Well, obviously this bike needs a little bit more work, but my point stands that um, with a good battery, uh, one that uh, doesn't have the dead cell and one that isn't sinking like that, uh, you'll have plenty of amperage uh, to make those tens of thousands of volts that we need to make a spark. So I'm going to keep working on this bike. You all keep this in mind next time you try and squeeze an extra couple of months out of that four or five year old battery. And uh, good luck.